good morning. So this morning we're gonna make a beautiful sandwich loaf. So we're using a pan for that, a non-stick pan. And in here we've got 300 grams of biodynamic stone ground wholemeal flour, really lovely, tasty flour, with 300 grams of bread flour, organic bread flour in there as well. So we've got a good mix, 50-50 of wholemeal and bread flour in there. And we're also gonna add in seeds. So we've got um, some sunflower, pumpkin, and sesame seeds into it as well. And at some point we'll add in, add in a little bit of olive oil once we've got a good, good dose strength um, to the mix to give it that kind of softness to it for a nice sandwich loaf. So what I'll do now is so we've got 600 grams of the flour in here, 300 of each, and I'll put 450 grams of water in there. Just mix that up on there with a large spoon. And again, you know, so we'll then leave this for between half an hour and, and, a, and a half an hour to an hour. I mean, if, if it's longer than that, it's not going to hurt as well, really, because, you know, you're building up dose strength. I think any, anywhere past two hours, it really starts to kind of um, ferment by itself there. So really kind of, if you can keep it under two hours, is great. But half an hour is fine, hour is fine as well. So that's great. So this is a really loose process. Don't, don't get too worried about kind of making this all fancy in here. Really, you're just mixing the order in there to make sure it's all mixed. So that's all good there so I'll, I'll, do that. I'll leave it there and i'll come back in about 30 minutes time and we get into the next piece of the process so see you in a little bit okay great so that's been about 35 minutes so yeah, that's that's about right there so if we just have a little look at it now just to see there'll be some kind of dose strength that would have built up i think from there so you can see already like just by doing what we've done and utilizing it, it's giving it some kind of strength to it so that's a good start so the next part is to add in 120 grams of starter. Did this one last night, so nice and bubbly. This is actually the light rye flour one. I've got some in the cupboard to use up there, so I thought, well, that's that's great. I can use that. That's nice. So that's I, I, I know from experience that's about 120 grams there. Can be a little bit more. Can be a little bit less. I've mean, got to be too precise for this. So that's good there. And then I'm going to add in my 12 grams of salt. This is sea salt. So I just I can measure this out and get on here. I know what 12 grams is on this measuring spoon. So there we go. So that's the 12 grams, just kind of sprinkle it around. And then what we're gonna do now really just kind of mix that in. So again, just kind of wet your hand and you're gonna kind of just move it around and mix it together with the salt and the, the starter. So you're not kneading here, all you're really doing here is actually mixing it in there. So it doesn't take too long to do. Um, I think actually it's easier to do this than it is to get a mixer out and get it all set up, get it going, use it, bring it out and then having to wash up the mixer. And it's just a lot more time really. If you're making bread at home, if you're making a salad of bread at home, I should say, then just mix it by hand, it's really easy. You're not, as I say, you're not kneading, you're just mixing. So once you're happy that is all mixed together, it's looking pretty good there now. You kind of feel it'll start to kind of get tighten up slightly as you do this. And then really what you can do then is once once that's complete, get off of this other side, is just leave that again for another half an hour, and then we can come back and do the first set stretch and fold. So I'll come back in half an hour and we'll um, go through the next bit of the process. Okay, great. Well, that's been another half an hour. So we'll do th go through now and do this first set of stretch and fold. So this is probably the most aggressive one in a way to do because you're really going to get the process going of getting some dough strength in there. So I'll show you what to do here now. Wet both your hands, so nice and wet. And you're going to scoop this out. It shouldn't stick at the moment. It should be pretty good. It should come out there pretty well, like this. There we go, and then we're going to wrap it around our hand like this. It shouldn't stick because you've got wet hands. There you go, like that. And then wrap it around and then make it into a ball like this. There you go. So that's the first drill set. So you can see already it's got some, some strength coming into it, actually. It's holding its shape slightly. So we'll just have a quick look now at the dose strength as we're going through. This is going to indicate to us when we can start to put our, our seeds in and our olive oil in. So just have a quick look on here now. So if we pull this, 
you see that's looking really good now so a bit of a tear on there but okay so we'll do one more set after this just kind of making it a nice ball again okay that's looking great so we'll come back to that again in another half an hour do the next sets set of stretching folds and then put in the i think the seeds and the olive oil so back in half an hour okay great that's been another half an hour so that's just kind of you can see it's relaxed now from what it was from the tension so we'll give it another set of stretch and folds slightly different this time i'll show you what to do here then we'll go through add a little bit of olive oil and our seeds in there and show you what to do from there so again just wet my hands slightly so it doesn't stick and then just release it from the side of the bowl and basically then we're just going to kind of go through here and just just stretch it on here like this so far up in the air down stretch it like this it's looking good and we've got some good um, dough strength in there you can kind of feel it when you you move it you can kind of feel the tension in there so i'm really happy now that's to go to the next stage which is if i would just give it a quick check first just to make sure and you can see they're looking through that's really good and this is quite coarse in here because it's 50 percent a whole coarse whole grain flour so even saying that that's some good dough strength in there so now I'm going to go through and just dimple. So put lots of dimples in like this. Go through. Which you can in there. Add a little bit of olive oil in. So just kind of a dash across the top like that. Light covering. That's really good. And then put your seeds in. So here you go. So you've got mixed seeds in here. So sunflower, pumpkin, and sesame. That's really quite a nice mix, I think. So let's put all those in. So it's going to be quite a heavily well, seen his life which is great, which is just what you want. Now you just go through and just dimple that in. So you push those in to the dough. And do this for a little while until you start to kind of, the seeds start to disappear into the loaf. Then you kind of you know you've got a bit of a mix going on. So you go around the outside as well. So at the same time as doing this, of course, you're mixing in the olive oil as well. So the olive oil makes the loaf slightly softer so you don't need that much to get that effect and also you've got that lovely kind of little residual olive oil taste of the bread so you know you don't have to use it but it's something that i like to use when i'm doing making a softer sandwich loaf and just for a change really you know i don't add olive oil, olive oil in it all the time just you know for a change right so i think that's starting to kind of looking good now that's starting to kind of mix in so what we're going to do now is just get wet our hands slightly and then we're just going to go through and just fold that in. Turn it over, turn it over, and turn it over, and then turn it over then so this is the top now. And then give it a quick stretch and fold on here. Another one there. And what will happen in the minute you'll see the seeds start to kind of slightly show through the top. And that's when you're about ready to stop then. So just see little dimples there. So we'll give it one more go here. And you can see to see just starting to poke through around here. So we'll leave that now for another half an hour. Come back to it, do another set of stretch and folds. And we're probably getting quite close there. We'll make a call whether that's enough, whether the three sets are enough then to leave it for its final proof. So put that to one side for half an hour and then we'll come back to it. Okay, great. That's been another half an hour. So let's have a look at what we've got. So again, it's, it's relaxed out again, so we're going to kind of put a little bit more dough strength into it. So I just wet my hands again. I can probably give it now a last set of stretch and fold. So again, release it from the side on here. Go, and then stretch and fold. It'll fall over on its own weight. Same here. Fall over on there. That's great. And do it until you find you've got kind of quite a bit of tension in there. So I'm feeling now probably that's actually feeling quite good. I'm going to get one more on there. I think that's really good. Just You can just see the seeds starting to pop through there. So that's a very good place to stop. And just have a quick look again at the dose strength on here. I think we're pretty, pretty good now. So quick look in here, on there. That's looking really good. Okay, so I'm pleased now that's, that's the point. I think we, we can just basically leave that now. To finally improve so leave that for kind of i guess three four five hours depending on how warm it is in your house probably for us here we're about like 19 degrees now so i'd say that probably for us now it's about four hours 
But what we'll do then, we'll just do them at some point towards the end, we'll come do a little poke test on here and just see how long it takes. Like right now, when you, when you push it down there, you can see it's way off because it's springing right back. So it's nowhere near done. So obviously, well, we know that anyway, but so we'll come back here in about four hours time, give it a test again on there, and we should be somewhere around about right. So, okay, I'll seal it up again and I'll come back in about four hours time. So join you then. Okay, that's great. So that's been about four hours now. So this is actually looking really good. So this is the point that I think we can actually shake this now. You just see when you poke into it slightly, it just slowly rises back with a wet finger on there. So it makes an indent, but it slowly comes back. So that's just about perfect. So I walled up the baking tin just very lightly with some olive oil on there. So now I'll go through it and I will shape the dough. So I'm going to put a little bit of rice flour on the top here. Wet your hands again. Bring this out of the... You just, just kind of release it gently from there. And bring that out into here. Looking good. And quite quickly then, we're going to then stretch this out. The usual thing, the usual way we kind of handle dough if we go into a, into a basket. So, here we go. Stretch this through here. And here. Through. And then into the tin. Like that. That's great. The last thing to do then is just to go, through, go across... And just stitch it across so just take it across like this stitch it over like that it's looking really good there stitched over it's all stitched over there it's looking nice and the final thing i would then do I was going to put a few more little like seeds on top, so I'll just throw a few sunflower seeds on top. There you go, and a few pumpkin seeds in there. There we go, that's really good. So now I'll cover that up, put that in the fridge, um, and then tomorrow morning go through and bake it. So I'll show you the baking process tomorrow. So if you've got some kind of a lid you can put on it, just kind of keep the moisture in. Yeah, cover that up, put it in the fridge, and then that should be great for tomorrow. So we'll resume tomorrow morning and, and bake it in the oven. So I'll show you the process there. So thank you for watching. Right, good morning. We're ready now to start, um, well, to carry on with the process of um, making our beautiful sandwich loaf. So this morning we're gonna bake it in the oven. So I'll just get it out of the fridge. It's been in the, been in the fridge overnight. So let's have a look. There we go, I just uncover this from the fridge. So yeah, it's risen a bit, that's nice, it's looking good. And I think what I'll do as well, I just put a, like a slash, this isn't, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna put a slash in the top here, just to give it a little bit of kind of, more a chance to rise and a little bit more texture to it on top of the crumb. Then the oven, so it's gonna be in the oven for about 20 minutes first at 2.30 and then the last 30 minutes down to about 2.10 or something like that. And I'll put some ice cubes at the bottom of the oven just to kind of help to get some steam in there for the first 10 minutes of baking. So I'll go ahead now and do that. Right, so I'll slash this across here. Let's see how that goes. Okay. That's probably enough, just a nice, very light slash in there. In fact, I'm gonna put two on there. There we go, see what happens in that one. Great. So in the oven now, 2.30. And then I'm gonna put a few ice cubes in the bottom. Get some steam, and that's it. So I'll set the timer now for 
20 minutes. And then we come back in and check it out. So see you back in 20 minutes. So you can see that's rising beautifully in the oven. That's been about 18, 19 minutes now. So really pleased that that's developing in there. So I'll bring it out in a minute and have a quick look at it. And go from there. Okay, great. So that's the 20 minutes up. We'll just have a quick look now and just see what's doing then. Put it back in the oven. So it'll be quite quick here. So we don't want it to kind of, you know, to deflate or whatever. So quick look at it and then back in the oven for another half an hour. Okay, really pleased with that. Risen really well, nice shape to it. Developing a nice crust. So I'll put it back in the oven again for about half an hour. Up and down to 210 now. Okay, great. So that's the... Um, Sandwich bread's now been in there for another half an hour, so that's 40 minutes in total baking time, and that looks to me to be about right. So we'll bring it out of the oven and have a quick look, but I say from the appearance of it, it's looking really good. So that's looking lovely, absolutely beautiful. So really pleased with that. Nice crumb on top there, it's, it's risen really well, beautifully. You can see where they kind of, it's opened up here and let, the, uh, let it expand, so that's great. So I've got onto the wire rack there. It should in theory just come out really nice and yep there we go nice and easily so look at that beautiful and so nice and crispy and there so you can tell that's cooked There you go, so that's a beautiful loaf. Really pleased with that, nice seeds on top. Crispy on the outside, nicely done. So I'll leave that only for a couple of hours now to go through and just finish cooking and cool down a little bit. And then um, we'll get to slice into and have a look, but that's looking beautiful on there, really pleased. Um, yeah, what can be nice to say? Yep. Yeah. Beautiful home sandwich loaf, um, full of goodness. That's got kind of 50% whole grain flour in there, and it's also a coarse one, so it'll be even better for you. It's all made with organic flour. We've got lots of seeds in there. We've got sunflower, pumpkin, sesame seeds in there, and seeds on top. So you've got a really nutritious loaf there to feed your family with. So, and also very cheap to make, you know, because if you buy your, your, your products or you're buying your flowers and your seeds in bulk organically, you're getting a really good deal, much cheaper than supermarkets, and you're getting something that's going to really feed your family. And of course, no nasty yeast in here as well. So it's a win all around. So, anyway. Leave this for a while, I'll come back to you in a couple of hours time and we'll cut into it and have a look. So thanks for watching. Well that's great, that's been a couple of hours now, so it's it's cooled down nicely, it's looking really good. So I'll cut into it now and um, have a look inside it. It's risen probably by about kind of I'd say 50% on there, so say 100 percent I should say on there, so that's really good that should be a nice, this is, so this is a whole grain loaf. So let's see what we've got inside. Oh, that's beautiful. It's really beautiful inside there. Lovely sandwich loaf in there. Lots of seeds, lots of nutrition in there. A lovely light loaf. I mean, that's gonna be absolutely delicious. Let's have a little taste test on here now. There you go, beautiful loaf. Mmm. Quite moist inside, nice and crunchy. Seeds are coming through. Mmm. Very tasty. That's me and my lunch today, so I'm looking forward to that. A couple more pieces for a, a sandwich. Beautiful. So, really pleased with that. Lovely aerated loaf and really tasty because of all of the whole growing goodness in there. So, right, really pleased with that. So, you know, I'd say go out there and um, make a life, you know. Beautiful for sandwiches, really nutritious. And um, anyway, thanks for watching this and, and please go out and make your own sandwich life.